Hello, I'm Kat and this is today's Tarot. The first card that we have for today is the Three of Wands. So we could be finding ourselves embarking on some kind of new project or having to cross some emotional space that we kind of know that we have to deal with, but there's been some reluctancy on for us to actually start the process. It's like, I know I need to do this, but uh, I'm not quite ready to do it yet. I'm not really quite ready to, to approach it yet. The message of this card is to go ahead and move forward. Where you feel hesitancy, there will actually be a community and people there to support you. So move forward because help is on the way. The second card that we have for today is the Seven of Pentacles. And this is telling us to have patience around a material situation. It's also um, reminding us that we've been looking at like the fruits of our labor where we've actually had successes in our energy output and where we haven't. It's kind of like, you know, a gardener that is growing a vegetable harvest and at the end of the season they can evaluate how well they did based on where they planted their crops and what they, you know, fertilized them with and all the preparations that they did. And so we're in this space where we're evaluating what we've done and where we've put our beliefs and where we've put our values. Uh, the third card that we have for today is the Seven of Cups. So another seven, another lesson of learning and things that we're looking at. This is a, a card that is speaking to illusions around happiness. And it's likely that, you know, we're embarking on this project or this endeavor and we have this idea of expectation as far as what we're, what we think we're going to meet on the other side of crossing this body of water. But in reality, that, those thoughts that we can just kind of, you know, daydream about can be a distraction because we don't know what is on the other side of that body of water until we get there. And so it can be really paralyzing to just stand before a great project and just try to evaluate everything because honestly, you won't know what you meet until you're on the other side. Now, I did pull us a fourth card for today. The fourth card is a major arcana. It's the temperance card. This card is ruled by Jupiter, and Jupiter is going through some major astrological influences right now in the sign of Aquarius. It's actually in conjunction to a retrograde Mercury, so we are evaluating things and getting an expanded viewpoint and perspective of where to go next with all of these changes in our lives, and this card is a card of hope. It's a card of encouragement it's a it's a card of help it's telling us that even though we may be going through things that are kind of uncharted territories and and we may you know imagine what we're going through or what we're going to get to on the other side this is an opportunity change brings opportunity it brings expansion into our lives because it shows us how we show up in different situations and that Oftentimes, where our mind takes us in what something's going to be isn't, isn't the ultimate journey that we end up going on, right? It's just something that takes us there. And then we have the experience, and we learn from the experience, and we grow from the experience. So these are our cards for today. I did want to let you all know that I'm going to be sharing something this weekend that I've been working on and unveiling. So... There's a little bit of something in the works. Um, Mercury is in retrograde for a couple more days. It's going to be coming out of retrograde, so it's going to be passing over Jupiter again, as well as all the other personal planets that it came in contact with during its retrograde. So all that time of reevaluation and reconsideration of things, now we can actually move forward based on what we've seen and experienced and conversations that we've had. And this is all in alignment with this big square happening right now with Saturn and, and Uranus up in um, Saturn's in Aquarius, Uranus is up in Taurus. And so that square is making a big shift in our own lives as far as with all of these changes, 
going on? How do we want to show up? What's ultimately important? How can we gather our resources together so that we can move forward with an intentional path before us? So we have to anchor our footsteps and take each step at a time. I send you so much love and a good wish, and I will see you again tomorrow. Bye for now.